hello Virgo welcome to your reading let's see what we have for you today these are messages for the sign of Virgo concerning love or the person they're thinking about or the situation they're in regarding love Wow. Certainly in deep thought. Something hidden suddenly come into light. Now, don't despair about this tower because, you know, a lot of you will see this as a truly negative card. It's very surprising, but it's a realisation. And with this realisation comes a choice. Now, the tower moment... Whatever this means to you, it's a different scenario for all of you. It's a general reading after all, just take what resonates. But this tower moment, I feel, is somebody having a realisation of feelings. And you suddenly get an inspiration from the universe. But it's partly due to surprising news coming in. Now, with the tower... It's never totally surprising. The universe always sends warning signs. If we don't heed those warning signs, or, you know, in a lot of cases we live lead very, very busy lives, and, you know, these subtle signs the universe sends us through synchronicities and, you know, feelings and our dreams, we don't always have time to consider this. That's when the tower becomes a surprise. But usually the universe does send warning signs. And I feel with you, now, if you're in a position where you're sort of getting synchronicities and you have very vivid dreams and getting the feeling of deja vu and things like this, try to relate it into your daily life. See what it's, rep see what it's trying to tell you. Because there is some signs there. And this tower can actually be not avoided, but it can the impact can be lessened. Let's see where else this goes. Let's get some more on this. What I'm getting most strongly is some news coming in and taking you totally by surprise because it's it's a hidden revelation, hidden feelings. You know, you could possibly hear this news through the grapevine, something like that, or directly from the person concerned. But whatever, it's for the greater good. It'll always be for the greater good. There's a, there's a situation around you concerning a loved one that is not stable. And... It needs to be broken down to quite possibly be rebuilt on a much more stable basis. It can be very distract, distracting, very emotional, but it's always for the better good. Yeah, communication, truth, Queen of Swords. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini person, but there's some communication. Your life is about, if not, to get very, very busy. It is. And I feel for some of you this communication is coming in from overseas or from a distance. A lot of you will be faced with a choice. And it's kind of, in a lot of scenarios, cutting something loose. Cutting your losses and moving on. As I say, this is easier said than done. It's all very well me as a tarot reader to say, yeah, this, 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 this and this, but emotions come in. And for a lot of you, you're already in a difficult situation. And, you know, it's not easy. But this, this will, I feel in the long run, make you feel very, very different. And it will kind of harden you, toughen you up. You know, we're back to the old adage, what doesn't kill us does make us stronger. Yeah, I feel I love you. You will be faced with a choice and you will stress sleepless nights on which direction, but there's a new direction beckoning. 
I feel your curiosity will be sort of ignited and there is messages coming in possibly an invite from somebody from the past or somebody new or somebody you've come into contact with and you've never thought anything more of it and now they haven't forgotten they perhaps said something to you in the past and now it's coming round again with this nine of swords though what I also forget is forgiving yourself and it doesn't mean before you start screaming in the comments oh, I've done nothing wrong forgiving yourself you know sometimes we get pulled into situations you know that we don't entirely mean we go into it with all the faith in the world hoping it will work out and sometimes it doesn't it's not necessarily your fault but when things go sideways whoever's to blame we always run with this, not necessarily a guilt complex, but we do tend to blame ourselves and think to ourselves sometimes, why did I let myself get into that? This is what I mean by forgiving yourself. Mm -hmm. You opened up your heart. You've been thinking a lot about the past just lately and I feel this past person is still around you very very strongly not necessarily physically but certainly emotionally and but what i'm getting is this this sudden communication coming in from a past person but what it will do this tower moment this surprise it will enable you to finally drop these burdens it will finally bring in the long run an end to some negative energy you've been carrying you will, of course, be contemplating your feelings. And I feel for some of you, like I say, there is a choice here. King of Cups Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, considering your feelings. One thing you will have learned from the past is to control your feelings, not just jump in. In the past, you opened up too much and it didn't work. Queen of Swords, learning your lesson. Well, you've learnt your lesson. Never again, you're saying to yourself. It's Ace of Wands. Fabulous. A lot of passion. An, indi an enticement to travel. It's certainly sparked your curiosity. There's certainly attraction there. There's a lot of temptation there. But you will go through a phase over the next few weeks of seriously contemplating how you really feel about this person you've struggled with them a long while and again it's a stepping out that comfort zone it's kind of a full card energy you know do you want to take that leap of faith if you choose to then you'll be certainly stopping to smell the roses this time mm. there's been a long long way and you see here You've got the nine and that page with the other one. You gave that wand away a long time ago. Now you're going to get it back. Mm-hmm. You know, you feel a part of you is missing some of you. You feel you gave too much to this person. They walked off with it. And this has been a very erratic connection. In and out, in and out feel this person wouldn't commit but all of a sudden this person is there and they will reveal a little bit of their emotion just be careful of a little bit of manipulation I'm picking up a little bit of devil energy here obsessive thinking and you know this person they've got a lot of hidden feelings but they're only willing to disclose some of it they don't like showing their emotion and for a lot of you there is also a choice who have you f between Pisces Cancer Scorpio Aries Leo Sagittarius and it one fun and exciting the other very sensitive mm -hmm. difficult choice for you you're kind of like at a fork in the road 
happiness and stability. There's a change in circumstances, a change in emotions, but you're becoming much more... St you want stability, you want happiness. And this is basically a choice on whoever's going to make and wherever's going to make you most happy. But a decision has to be made nonetheless. And because you've got two tens here, ten of cups, ten of swords, there's an ending and ten of wands. There's significant changes in this scenario you've been carrying for a long while. There's a chance for you to end it once and for all, put the karma down and move on in whatever direction you like. And you'll be in a much better position to mediate and make decisions on a much more stable footing. But as I say, it's kind of whichever way you go with this, you are going to have to lose something. You're going to have to cut something loose to follow this. Ace of Pentacles, you see, everything's coming together. You can walk through that gate into the new wide world or you can simply ignore it. You've got control and the decision lies with you. It's in your lap. It depends on who, whoever or wherever is the strongest emotional pull for you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.